Hello DS106, this is Linda, and yesterday I learned how to make this animated GIF using my own images, and I was so excited that I wanted to put up a quick tutorial to share with you how I did it, just in case someone else out there want to try it as well. So I'm going to start from this point because um, I chose the option of automatically aligning my source images, which I highly recommend doing. Um, but that process takes a little while for the Photoshop to go through. So I'm going to include a link uh, that directs you to Alan's tutorial on how to get to this point. So let's um, just assume that you are at this stage and let's go from here. Um, from here I'm going to select all the layers and group them all into one group so I can crop all the images all at once. So I'm going to go into layer, group layers, and now you have one group. So choose the cropping tool and I'm going to cut out a 6 by 4 inch section in the middle here. So that all the edges, all the edges will look even. Um, and crop. Okay, so now have all the images evenly aligned on the edges. And while I have them all grouped, I'm also going to go into image and resize the image, image, image size, so that I can resize it to, um, to fit my blog the way I want it. So I'm going to uncheck resample image and go in here and change this to 300 dpi and check resample image again go up here and um, I'm going to make it 600 pixels wide because that fits perfectly on my blog but that will all depend on the theme that you have but we'll go with 600 for now. Hit OK. So now we have our image resized. In, let's zoom in so we can see it better and go into layer and ungroup ungroup layers to get all of your layers back and go into window and open up your animation window and I see the animation frames window here but when I first um, opened this I saw this the timeline so when you see this all you have to do is go down here and click on this image or on this icon down here and you will see the animation frames. And go over here to the right, click on this icon over here which will call up the menu and choose make frames from layers and that will bring in each layer into its own frame in your animation window. And select all the frames and I'm going to choose to um, play each frame for 0 0.1 seconds and click on this little arrow here and you can choose whether to play it once, three times or forever and I'm gonna um, select forever to put it on a continuous loop and let's see what that looks like and my train is going backwards so I'm gonna go over here and call up my menu again and select um, reverse frames and hopefully that will correct that problem. And yes, now the train is going in the right direction. So to save that onto your desktop, um, you go into File, Save for Web and Devices. And in this window, you can try playing it again just to make sure that you have it the way you want it. And then hit Save. And I'm going to choose here, I'm going to choose HTML and images so I can show you what it will look like once it's inserted into your blog. I'm going to name this Train to Tutorial and save. Okay, so now it's saved onto my desktop, so let's go into that folder and there. Um, when you insert it into your blog, you're actually going to um, insert this GIF file, but um, right now I'm going to show you what it will look like once you have it inserted. There it is. Yay! Thanks for watching.